Hi, this is Gali Gopharb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling happy because today our quote of the day is, today a reader, tomorrow a leader by Margaret Fuller. Reading is the single most important activity a person can do. It, open, it opens up the whole world to you. It allows other people in, people who had something important to say. We all know the amount of influence people have on our lives. We all know that bad influence, unfortunately, influences every part of our life. The way you spend your days today and how you spend your free time will give you a precise map as to where you will be a decade from now. And are you happy with the, with the direction that your life is going? If you are not happy with your life as it is going, then you have to alter the scales of your time spent on entertainment compared to your time spent on study and learning. I made a video yesterday about self-learning and the best way to teach yourself is by reading books by great influencers both in the field that you are interested in and out in, in the field that is out of your field of interest. You never know where a great idea a life-changing idea can come from. If you do not have high achievers in your immediate environment who can positively move you towards your dream life and who are living your dream today, then you have to change your environment to one that will support your growth and advancement and fulfillment. And the best way to do this is by reading books. Of course, leading conversations with intelligent people is also of major importance for influencing your life. But what if this is not an option that is available to you right now because of where you are currently living and how you are currently living? Well, in that case, the best way to escape an otherwise unhappy and unfulfilling future is by reading books written by strong, powerful people or reading their biographies. This will allow you to tap into their minds and learn essential skills and attitudes and different perspectives that will help you move your life forward to the best place for you. When you read books, you cannot comprehend how much power they have over your state of mind and life, just as we are all influenced in the same way from people who are close to us. If your family members or close friends do not read books, what are the chances that you will read books? very low, unless you choose to encircle yourself with people who do read books by watching their YouTube channels, podcasts, or programs. This is how you can slowly change your circle of influence to slowly become better than it is from natural circumstances. And then when you start reading, your circle of influence grows to, uh, to allow people of power and influence into your life. And then your thoughts and habits will start to change as a result. When you don't closely watch with a critical eye your circle of influence, you may find yourself in a place that you never desired or believed you would be in 10 years from now. But if you do control your circle of influence by reading books and biographies and then taking action following what you have learned, then you are ensuring that you will reach your goals Surely, ten years. we must pay attention to the influencers in our life to make sure that our life goes according to our plan that we have made for ourselves. Ask yourself, who am I around? Whose books am I reading? When you read good books, your mind develops and your thoughts develop and your life develops as a result. By feeding your mind words written by thoughtful people, you expand your own thoughts and even your reality, opening up doors that you never ever thought possible to open. When you expand your circle of influence by reading books of influencers or by influencers, then you slowly find yourself behaving differently, listening to different things, spending your time differently, even reading even more, and going to different places than you previously visited. You will also find yourself thinking differently, talking differently, and even feeling differently. This is the power that books have over your mind. But the same is also true for negative company. People who are bad influence will have you thinking, feeling, talking, and behaving differently as well. And this is why it is so important to choose your company well. And the best way to ensure this is by choosing to surround yourself with people 
who you would like to be in their position yourself. Ask yourself, who would you like to be like? And then read the books that they wrote or had written about them. Reading makes your brain more active and engaged. Books also take you on adventures that you could have never otherwise gone on. And this opens your life to new opportunities. And books can also keep you company when you're lonely. They help you meet people that you could have never met, even people who have died many years ago. We can still see reality through their eyes, even for a brief period, by reading their books. And this can change everything for you in your life. The more you read, the better you become at writing and communicating, which is one of the more important skills to develop for success. Reading helps you become better at persuading and leading other people, and it gives you so much that the benefits are almost endless. When you surround yourself with good books, it is as if you are surrounding yourself with good people. And when you surround yourself with good people, they will help you move your life in the direction you wish it to go. If your associations are not tipping you in the right direction for you, then reading good books can help you change this. How much of life are you leaving uncovered and unrevealed and untapped, untouched because you are not reading enough books? Think about the wealth of knowledge that is available but not open to you. When you don't read good books, you don't have the upper hand of things. Instead, petty things will sway you off course. Everything we come across influences our life dramatically, even if we don't realize it. And this is why it is so important to take control over your library, what you are feeding your mind, control of what goes into your head. Which people are you associating with and how are you spending your free time? We should break away or lessen our contact with negative influencers. And when we read books, we can definitely tip any scales to our favor. And this increases the quality of your life because you are ensuring that you are putting your time into the right place. You are spending your time in the right circumstances. If you are not interested in an average and mediocre life, then you must learn to improve yourself. And reading is the best way to do this, to focus your priorities, commitments, and values, and to help you understand people and situations much better. We really have very little spare time with all of our commitments that we have today, so it would be wise to spend any free time on something that will improve your life and move you to where you truly desire to be. And when you read regularly, you will secure a positive, long-lasting return on your time investment, like no other almost. It will help you secure a better future for yourself starting today. So read books of substance, read books about culture and about people of accomplishment and character. Create your life plan by learning from high achievers, examine their life plans and how they succeeded, what helped them, what didn't help them, what moved them and what moves you. So I, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a set of questions that you want to ask yourself to help you move your life to the best place for you. And the question of the day, the questions of the day are, how am I going to spend my time? What subjects interest me? Which people do I admire because of their achievements? Now go out and read books written by or on these people. Remember that you are the judge and choice maker of how you spend your time, so spend it wisely. So as I always uh, do, I recommend you writing these questions and your answers in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so they will help you move your life to a better place for you. And to finish this video off, the affirmation of the day is I enjoy reading and I am an avid reader watching my concentration levels get higher every day. I enjoy reading and I am an avid reader and I watch my concentration levels get higher every day. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you improve your health and wellness and take it to a better level for you. Thank you very much for joining.